perfect repairs. Beginner's guide for welding work and how to do perfect arc welding. Arc welding. Arc welding is a process that uses an electric arc to join the metals being welded. A distinct advantage of arc welding over gas welding is the concentration of heat. In gas welding the flame spreads over a large area, sometimes causing heat distortion. The concentration of heat, characteristic of arc welding, is an advantage because less heat spread reduces buckling and warping. This heat concentration also increases the depth of penetration and speeds up the welding operation. Therefore, you will find that arc welding is often more practical and economical than gas welding. All arc welding processes have three things in common, a heat source, filler metal, and shielding. The source of heat in arc welding is produced by the arcing of an electrical current between two contacts. The power source is called a welding machine. The welding machine is either electric or motor powered. Different types of arc welding. This process can be categorized into two different types, consumable and non-consumable electrode methods. Metal inert gas welding, MIG, and metal active gas welding, MAG. Also known as gas metal arc welding, uses a shielding gas to protect the base metals from contamination. Shielded metal arc welding. Also known as manual metal arc welding, flux shielded arc welding or stick welding is a process where the arc is struck between the metal rod and the workpiece, both the rod and workpiece surface melt to form a weld pool. Flux cord arc welding. Created as an alternative to shielded metal arc welding, flux cord arc welding uses a continuously fed consumable flux cord electrode and a constant voltage power supply, which provides a constant arc length. This process either uses a shielding gas or just the gas created by the flux to provide protection from contamination. Submerged arc welding, SAW. A frequently used process with a continuously fed consumable electrode and a blanket of fusible flux which becomes conductive when molten, providing a current path between the part and the electrode. The flux also helps prevent spatter and sparks while suppressing fumes and ultraviolet radiation. Electro slag welding, ASW. A vertical process used to weld thick plates in a single pass. Electro slag welding relies on an electric arc to start before a flux addition extinguishes the arc. Arc stud welding, SW. Similar to flash welding, SW joins a nut or fastener, usually with a flange with nubs that melt to create the joint, to another metal piece. Non-consumable electrode methods. Tungsten inert gas welding, TIG. Also known as gas tungsten arc welding, uses a non-consumable tungsten electrode to create the arc and an inert shielding gas to protect the weld and molten pool against atmospheric contamination. Plasma arc welding, PAW. Similar to tungsten inert gas welding, plasma arc welding uses an electric arc between a non-consumable electrode and an anode, which are placed within the body of the torch. The electric arc is used to ionize the gas in the torch and create the plasma, which is then pushed through a fine borehole in the anode to reach the base plate. In this way, the plasma is separated from the shielding gas.